a very disappointed feeling. I think the expectation today uh, to win this game was um, outstanding high. The preparation on this game day was very good. Also, the, the last few days to prepare the boys uh, here in a good direction. But I think um, after 15, 20 minutes, we we lose our aggression, we lose our intensity, we go down with our tempo in on ball moments and uh, against the ball and uh, and this gives uh, I think uh, Miami in the most important time uh, too much breath to to believe and come back and especially with uh, with the one or other big chance what we had uh, to to score in these moments to go on the lead uh, especially with this hit in the back yeah it's uh, would be very very helpful and um, and then I think yeah we had um, a long time a big fight but we was not always ready for first duels for second balls uh, we was sometimes too slow in the in the brain and uh, and also from the physical side I cannot see um, the freshness in some moments to to come in in yeah in in a better situation and um, yeah but in in the end I think. Uh, uh, we don't deserve today a point. We was uh, not ready enough to bring uh, Miami um, under bigger problems, and uh, now we have to to look forward uh, to do everything for a good regen uh, and recovery that we are ready on Wednesday. It's a big game for us on Wednesday uh, to come in the to go in the quarter final, and we have to do and everything right now that we have the right shape, the right physical power for the next fight. First, we'll go to Ben Cork. Hey, Gerhard. Um, obviously, a little bit of uh, warmer, hotter weather than your team has normally faced this year down in Miami. Um, was that a factor at all in the game? And do you see um, the summer months uh, and the hot weather being a particular issue for the physically demanding style that your team plays? Yeah, I think uh, I could. Um make my life uh, easier and say it's the it's the weather i think no i think uh, uh, you need uh, also for this weather the mindset like a killer uh, and also you have to use very clear the chances what you get and i think uh, one more time this is uh, in the end um, not enough in this direction and we have to score in, in in top moments and and of course you can feel the weather always more when you run uh, you are behind in the result you have to run more and more and uh, from the mindset it's not easy but you need a special resilience in in games like that and you need a setup and the setup uh, in some moments was um, we are out of the structure we are with two big distance and then it's always a little bit uh, more difficult to defend and you have to run more and more when you are not uh, compact and in the right structure and uh, of course this was not um, was not um, helpful in the end and uh, yeah um, I think uh, but I will not uh, search for excuses with the weather they have also the same weather and uh, and uh, and um, this was not the reason next we're going to Anthony Merced. Hello, Gerhard. Um, I, I, I'm curious to ask what you say to some of your players, specifically um, Patrick Kamala or any of your other strikers who have very clear opportunities but don't convert. How do you keep them motivated and um, confident moving forward so that these misses don't affect them in future games? Yeah, I think uh, first of all, we can see some very good moves from Patrick. He comes and create uh, for himself very big chances. I think this is a I think a big strength from him that he has in the right moment the right run and then I think uh, of course he know that I don't must speak right now hey Patrick you have to score I know uh, uh, what he think right now and, and also his expectation on himself uh, um, we looking forward. We have on Wednesday the next chance to to, to change the, the the situation. Right now we are disappointed, uh, uh, frustrated boys in the dressing room. Of course, this is normal. But we have to look forward uh, um, and uh, and prepare the mindset in the direction that we are ready. I think, uh, of course, uh, uh, situations like that uh, makes the brain not stronger, but. Resilience is, I think, uh, the beat of the hour, and uh, and we have to look forward and uh, and invest everything right now for a good return. Next, we we'll go to Gary Redmond. 
Hey, Coach, uh, it's, it's disappointing that this, this uh, loss has been, of course, like you just mentioned, you have to look forward to the U.S. Open Cup match, but you see it's a very big game. Um, is there much of a, much, does it take much motivation to get the guys ready for that particular match now that this one's done and dusted? I think uh, the motivation is absolutely not our topic. Yeah? This was never our topic. Uh, this is more that we find a, a good setup and a good uh, uh, staggering together to 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 yeah come in the next round. And uh, this is the big goal on Wednesday. But before we speak about that, we have to find a, a good shape, a good um, yeah, a good balance that we are ready for for intensity game and uh, and we know Charlotte grow um, in the league the last few weeks in a good direction and it's a it's a, it's a big game it's a, yeah it's a massive opponent uh, uh, to come uh, and uh, achieve the, the quarterfinal in the end what we what we want yeah and uh, yeah I think uh, we're looking forward and uh, uh, and of course the game the chance to come in the next round in the open cup is sexy and we will invest uh, everything. Next, go to Dan Foyce. Uh Gerhard, just talk about Ryan Mara. I know the only goal he gave up got deflected off the uh, Dylan. But overall, how pleased are you with his performance? Will he be in goal on Wednesday against Charlotte? Or does Coronel get that opportunity since he was not able to travel tonight? I will don't take uh, right now my, <clears throat> my starting 11 decision. Uh, I think right now I have... Uh, my aim a little bit in my brain and um, but uh, I was uh, in many times uh, uh, very happy with Ryan I think he make, made a good job also his timing to come out and save uh, uh, difficult balls he made a, a good job but this is my expectation on him this surprised me absolutely uh, not this was uh, I think uh, Ryan Mira always uh, 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 ready and uh, today he showed it we'll go back to Ben Court. Gerhard, um, just a question about Aaron Long, who obviously left the game a little bit early. I'm just curious whether that was more of a tactical or fitness move. And then um, just off in general, a lot of rotation in this game, especially in the starting lineup. Um, it implies that you are looking forward to the Open Cup. Um, do you think the Open Cup is a tournament you guys are looking to win? Yeah, first off, uh, Aaron Long, I think... Um um, we have to protect him. Uh, we don't forget he he missed the the last season, and right now we have um, a, a game situation, a load situation um, that we have uh, here with him a careful um, load plan, and we give him uh, always um, yeah this load that he is ready also for the next game on the, to play on a good level and also the risk uh, that something go wrong with uh, with him uh, we have to show on that and this was today um, yeah, uh, a situation to look on him that he stay uh, steady um, and stable in the in the next time and uh, he is ready to play yeah the next games for us and this was the reason why I give him out and this was also with Aaron uh, before we go in the game, um, uh, clear. Uh, <clears throat> um, um, this was a clear talk about that, and um, yeah, uh, I think Open Cup. It's um, yeah, it's a sexy tournament, and we will use that. We will use the chance to go here in the next round, and this is the next goal what we have. And uh, and we know we have many games on the row at the moment with uh, with travel, with um, special weather here. Um, this um, pull some energy from us, uh, but now uh, I think it's uh, it's the time to to prepare, yeah, come back with the right mindset, uh, um, yeah, <clears throat> use a good drink. I think this is also helpful at the moment uh, that we are ready on Wednesday. That's it. We have time for two more questions with Coach. First, we'll go to Anthony Merced, and then we'll finish off with Gary Redmond. Anthony, you have the floor. Uh, Coach, Ryan Mara has been with this team for quite some time now. Um, what was the conversation with him? W were you, was it very easy just to say, hey, this is your game now that Carlos Cornell wasn't able to play? Um, or was there more of a tactical conversation with him? This was an easy conversation. It's not the magic one. The f first goalkeeper, Carlos Cornell, he's out uh, with a 
Kindly Stone, yeah, and uh, but uh, he's uh, I think very quick back. And today was uh, Ryan Mirror's time, and uh, I have not uh, with him a, a special conversation. Uh, I have a big trust in him. He feel that in the training, in the situation when he get uh, game time, and uh, and we we don't need uh, in situations like that. Uh, a special conversation. Um, he is the replacement for Carlos and today he made a, a good job. Uh, this was, uh, I think, uh, absolutely not a, a surprise uh, that he can uh, play on a very good level in this league. Uh, yeah, and also um, from the tactical side, he's always involved in the in the trainings uh, and he knows uh, what is important, uh, especially his position sometimes against the ball, that he has also the right high and uh, and uh, and also when we play on the ball that he's also a plus player sometimes and today he was in many directions okay and also he saved some uh, um, difficulty balls and uh, yeah it's, uh, it's a reliable goalkeeper, uh, uh, this makes me not worry. And we'll finish it off with Gary Redmond. Coach, just a couple of questions to finish things off. Um, you mentioned earlier that the team lost a lot of uh, opportunities early in the game and it just couldn't score out there. Um, I just want to know, was it a little bit of a mental side because it seems that the team wasn't very sharp that way. And second, Omri Fernandez was substituted in the 46 minutes out of precaution. Um, what's his status for coming up the US Open Cup game or are you going to shelf him until DC United? Thanks. Yeah, we begin with Omir. I think also with him we have to protect him a little bit. He has much gained in the last few weeks and uh, and also I think um, we have to be careful with the right load and he was in my rotation plan today. This has nothing to do with the performance. I think he's also some good balls what he play and uh, but uh, of course we have to find a setup that everyone is um, available on a good level in every game day and uh, and uh, and this was the reason why I I, I give him out and um, next question what 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 was the next sorry my brain is a little bit empty now I hear nothing sorry your earlier statement that, that the team um just blew chances earlier when they had uh, opportunities to score. I'm just wondering if it's more of a mental condition because your team was usually sharp beginning of the game, but it just didn't happen um, this match. And as the match, as the match wore on, this team had just simply uh, lost any ideas. Um, how you know? How do you keep that fresh going and let them realize that hey, you have an opportunity, take it. Um, because you ruled the chance at the, at the end of the game, which was exactly what this happened in this match. Yeah, I think uh, from the start, I was, um, I have, I had a very good feeling when we go in this game. I think the first time was was good. We create chances. We was uh, also very compact, very good on the front foot, and uh, and give them absolutely no space, no time to to turn to create something. Yeah, uh, I think this was. Um, this was good first 10 15 minutes yeah. and after that especially when we we use not the uh, top chances um, i think uh, then um, yeah i feel a little bit uh, um, from the from the mental mindset we go a little bit back yeah and uh, and and of course in situations like that um, a goal would help us um, extremely yeah but on the same time, I think we have also in more games uh, in the last few months experience when we don't uh, use the first chance. Yeah? And my boys normally are very hungry. Yeah? And also I can see today we are, we are hungry. Um, but uh, sometimes um, I think uh, maybe the situation that uh, the one or other player is not, um, has no experience to play on the raw so many games. Um, this makes something with the one or other player, yeah. Um, um, and uh, yeah, we have to help the players. We have to grow the players uh, also in this direction to play and realize games in the raw more times and be always on a good performance level. But uh, I think today, um, too much players uh, come not on the border, and uh, and this is this is very difficult here. Yeah? And also you can see. Uh, yeah, uh, Miami is in the table, not uh, um, on the right place at the moment. But I can see many, many individual quality in this in this team. They, they, yeah, they make can make uh, a difference in the game.